All right, so the um, show. I wasn't going to, this wasn't on the schedule, but I had an idea that might fail here. But I'm really, really curious here. Hey, nobody embraces failure like the Burt Show. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that is really for sure. I don't care. Um, <laughs> so here was my question that I got earlier this morning. But you guys have to join us on this. one 855 Burt Show, and we can put you on the voice disguiser. Are there subtle ways that you get back at customers that you don't like? And how do you do it? And what field are you in? One eight five five Bird Show. What makes you ask this question? Um, because I made a really bad j- joke at Urgent Care yesterday, and when I got my shot for my steroid. Oh, this is where this is stemming from. Yeah, I got my shot for my steroid, and you asked, like, did you say that joke first? Uh huh. And then the shot came because I've had steroid shots in the butt before, and this one really hurt. So I'm wondering, and the joke was something like, this is not the real world in here, right? So I made a propofol joke that when they asked me like, hey, do you want antibiotics? I'm like, "Ah, I think what would really help is some good sleep. You got any propofol? And the doctor looked at me like, crickets. Woo. Ooh, the silence. (laughs) (laughs) And then he just kind of walked out of the room. You felt 12, didn't you? I did. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, wait a second. The virtual last at Pro Bowl show. How come you're not? (laughs) Because I'm a professional. (laughs) So Kristen questioned that maybe I got the Mm -hmm. shot a little bit harder (laughs) in the ass yesterday. (laughs) Maybe the doctor went to the assistant and said, give him the rough treatment. (laughs) (laughs) So are there ways, I don't know, maybe it's a restaurant, maybe Maybe you're a hairstylist. Maybe you're a massage therapist. And if a client comes in there and they piss you off, like there are small ways that would leave your client wondering, like, was that on purpose or are they just getting back at me? Like, I can already think of some examples. So, like, for instance, if it's a hairdresser and the person's being just really rude and disrespectful while you're giving them their, like, shampoo or whatever, like, either the water's, like, really, really hot or really, really cold. <laughs> oh, my bad. Yeah. Oh, so, so that's a re- that could be a really you, good you one. You get it right in their there. eyes or get it in their ears. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a very good one. No, and then, um, well, I do, and I, I, I hesitate to share this, but I've already shared it before, so I don't know why I'm hesitating. Um, if you are are a server and or rather if you are a customer in a restaurant and you act a fool and you are difficult i'm guaranteeing you they are messing with your food oh yeah oh yeah absolutely I've they are that. messing with your food because i will never forget rick had a total b at his table she was so unbelievably rude and where i was working you go to the back and there was a bar window in the back of the house to grab our drinks to take to um to take to our tables he sat there and took a, a big swig of her drink and spit it back into oh, the cup. Oh, no. And took it to her table. Oh, uh, I've done worse than that. I told you, man. When I was working at the Bell, you know, when I was 17 years old, I know guys there that were doing the old pluck and drop in the, no. inch, in, in the old oh, enchilada, no. man. Come on. Uh, Yep. My, my, my dude, uh, when, I, when I worked at McDonald's, used to uh, definitely take the burger and flip it and let it land on the floor <laughs> and then pick it right up off the floor and slide it on the bread. I've, I've seen that. Good morning. You are on The Voice Disguiser. We will call you Craven. What's going on? I would like to say that I sell high-end luxury cars, and when people come in and they are very rude, I lose everything. If I want is luxury car spare tires wind up going to Antarctica instead of Anchorage, Alaska, and you see price online, that is everybody's trying to eat. You are buying luxury car, you piece of oh, okay. Hey, all right. I think maybe some people are... <laughs> are, are, are uh, assuming this is a podcast. No, we're actually live on the radio. Yeah. You can't. You can't really. Cuss okay, it. how we are, we are. <laughs> all right, but don't answer the phone. Let's just take a beat. <laughs> Let's take a beat she and was let her. Whoa, I didn't hear the first moment. part of it though. What does she do for a living? So Sells luxury cars. Lo- yeah. Oh, and she does what to get she back at the customers? Loses everything. Paperwork, <laughs> spare tires, sends it to the wrong place. So she sent a car to Washington D.C. <laughs> instead of Washington State. <laughs> Okay, I think our dot button... She's waiting to get that off. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry if you heard a curse word or two there. We weren't expecting the second one. I think our dot button has caught up enough to where it's safe to answer another phone call. (laughs) I don't know about that. (laughs) Emily, good morning. You are part of the Bird Show. What are the subtle things you do to get back at a customer that you just hate? Good morning, guys. So I am a postpartum nurse at a hospital. Um, I actually work the night shift. 
And if I have a patient or even a couple that are just being god awful to me the entire night, um, whenever they want to send their baby to the nursery to get some sleep, I'll tell them our nursery's closed and that they have to keep their kiddo in there with them. Oh no! Oh, oh no! How wow! Are you, how are you living with your? That is low. How are you living with? <laughs> <laughs> Cassie and Kristen are so <laughs> disgusted right now. I'm not laughing at the call. I'm laughing at their reaction in studio. I've never been a healthcare worker. Well, that's not true. I have, but I've never been a nurse, a trained one. I cannot imagine the abuse they undergo mm-hmm. and how many people treat them like crap postpartum i just i I, they must be doing stuff really bad i'll give Uh, them the benefit of the doubt because that is a very trying time for mothers and it's very difficult and you're you're afraid you're sleepless you're on your wits end and then to be told that you can't get three hours of sleep because that's how long the baby's uh, gone for they bring them right back so they can feed and give mom that much needed break that's that's harsh she's a ball. again i'm not laughing at the call i'm laughing at cassie's a bald face well i don't know what this nurse went through so maybe it was like really bad abuse i'm yeah and i'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt as well but coming from the other person who gave birth uh, that, that one that one um that one struck let's see if we can offend worse than the last two uh, hey sarah good morning you're on the bird show hi Hey, so I'm an optician, and sometimes people get really rude in the eye doctor. So the air puff test is after <laughs> eye pressure. Every once in a while, we got to give you a double puffer and puff you a couple times. God, I hate that thing so much. Uh, 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 Have you ever done that test? Uh-uh. Oh, you got to put your chin in like this device, and you know that there's, I think they're testing for glaucoma. I don't, I don't know what they're testing for. And I've they, done it. They shoot air blast in your like one oh. air blast into your eye and she's saying if she's got some customers that aren't great clients that aren't great, she'll just keep hitting them with the air in the face and, and in the eyeball honest i'm not a fan of hearing healthcare wa- workers talk about how they <laughs> yeah. mess with you like restaurants sure but healthcare like mm. cussing car dealerships and salespeople that yeah, one was fun yeah, yeah yeah the bird show the bird show so first thanks for watching second you like what you just watched that just scratches the surface get the bird show on any podcast platform we're so good